Yo, what's up, guys? Dimes HG here, and today I'm gonna be talking about something real quick that I have not seen, but I have just seen now. Um, the Vinicius Jr. thing, the Vinicius Jr. racism thing. Bro, I didn't even know this was going. On. I thought it was something else, but I hopped on um Twitter and apparently um oh, Atletico Madrid fans, I think, or something was giving him racist abuse or some other fans or something because he dances after when when he scores. Bro, I mean, hold up, I gotta find what they said. They said something, bro, but like, that's crazy. That's wild. Hold up, where's it at? Um. Let me see. Let me see if I can find this. Oh, yeah, let me switch over real quick. But, yeah, yeah, this is crazy, man. These racist-ass people, man. Um, let me see. Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can find what they said, because... It's somewhere. Uh, let me see. Racism, yeah. I'm trying to find it, but but basically, um, somebody said that, that you know he's not gonna be coming over here. He's not gonna gonna come over here to Atletico Madrid, doing all that dancing, like playing the monkey. They said something like like being a monkey in the middle or something like that. It was it was something along those lines. I don't know why it's not popping up on here, but bro, like, bro, man, I hope this motherfucker when he plays that play, I'm, I might actually watch that game like real shit. I hope if he scores, um, when they play, I hope that motherfucker hit. Bro, I, I hope he dances on there. I hope he goes right in front of their fans and just starts dancing. That shit would be hilarious. That that would trend. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Ah, oh, man. What is that? Um, Vinicius Jr. came out and clapped back and said there are many more dance. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a... That motherf- <laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Oh, he dropped the, um, 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 response. As long as skin color is more important than the brightness of the eyes, there will be war. I have that phrase tattooed on my body. I have that thought permanently in my head. That's the attitude and philosophy that I try to put into practice in my life. They say happiness is annoying. The happiness of a victorious Brazilian black in Europe bothers much more. But my desire to win, my smile, and the twinkle in my eyes are much bigger than that. You can't even imagine. I was a victim of xenophobia and racism. Um, I don't know what xenophobia is, I, I don't know what that is, I guess, I, I don't know, I have to, but nah, mate, no, no, that's just straight racism, I don't know, he said something like, playing the monkey in the middle, um, racism in statement, but none of that, um, none of that started yesterday, weeks ago, they started criminalizing my dancing, dances that are not mine, Ronaldinho, for example, dances, Neymar, Paqueta, Griezmann, Felix, Cunha, they are Brazilian funk and samba artists, reggaeton singers, and American, and American black, they are dancers to celebrate the cultural diversity of the world, accept it, respect it, I ain't stopping, I come from a country where poverty is very high, where people don't have access to education, and in many cases, no food on the table. I don't usually come to publicly rebuttal to criticism. I get attacked and I don't speak on it. They praise me and I don't talk either. I work. I work a lot on and off the field. I have developed an app to help children's education in public schools without financial help from anyone. I'm making a school with my name. I'll do much more from education. I want the next generation to be prepared like me to fight against racism. And xenophobes, I always try to be a professional and an exemplary citizen, but that doesn't click, doesn't trend on the internet, or motivates cowards to aggressively talk about people they don't even know the script. Always ends with an apology, I was misunderstood, but I repeat it to you racists. I will not stop dancing, whether at the Sambo Dormo or at the Bernabeu or whenever. With the love and smiles of the very happy Vinicius Jr. Great response. So, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. And my, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, man. Ah, no. Ah, yeah, it was something along the lines. Um, Griezmann did. Griezmann did a monkey dance against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu in the second frame, but Griezmann and Koke did a dance against Cadiz. And no one talks about it. Atletico Madrid players see football as a war. I want to see Vinicius score and dance. Oh, oh, I do too. Oh, oh, I want to see that. Oh, I'm watching this. Oh, when is that game? I'm, I'm, I'm watching that. I got to see that. When is that game? I hope it's like when I'm not playing. Let me see. When do they play? September 18th. Oh, I'm playing tomorrow. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'll play tomorrow at 4. Damn it. Why Why? Why is the good shit always when I'm doing something? But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'll just come back and uh, re-watch the highlights. But yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, that's pretty much it, man. It's just racism just infects and plagues the sport. Um, and it's sad, man. It, it really is sad. It is sad, man. Uh, oh, was, was it Koke who said that? Wait. I thought it was a f if if Koke came out and said said that then damn yeah Koke yeah he's um an Atletico Madrid player wow oh oh yeah that's crazy um Pele came out and said football is a joy it's a dance it's more than that it's a real it's a real party yeah of course man you you play football to have fun I think a lot of people forget you know we all started to play this game for fun to enjoy. To enjoy yourself, you know, and as you get higher in the levels of football, you get more pro, you go pro, you get more serious, but as a little kid, you don't care about going pro, I mean, you just go out to the field, the favela, or whatever, and you just have fun, and play, your, and you just play, there's no positions, you just play, you're not a robot, you just play the game, um, although unfortunately racism still exists, we will not allow that to stop us from continuing to smile, and we will continue to fight racism every day in that way, fighting for our right to be happy and respected. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, if Koke said that, I, I, hold up one second. Let me type in um, Koke real quick. Koke. Um, let me see if I can find it. Cause... Oh, here we go. Um, Koke basically said this to Vinicius. Um... There would be trouble for sure, that is, to be expected. If in the end he scores and decides to dance, well, that's what he wants to do. Um, I don't know if that's after the statement he said. I don't I don't know, man. These, 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 like I said, man, a lot of these, these players, they're just, you know, it's... Mm, I don't know about these people, man. Um... Uh, I do, yeah, yeah, a dance celebration. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, it's sad, man. But it is what it is, man. It, and, it, and, it, and it's not going to stop. Racism is not going to stop. Um, Maybe in my lifetime. Maybe. Maybe. Because I got another... Hopefully I get to 100. So another 80 years. I hope. I hope one day, man. But for right now, mm, there's no end in sight, man. People are just too bitter out here, man. Um, and a lot of the best soccer players in the world are black right now. Vinicius is up there. Fucking um, Mbappe is probably one of the best in the world right now. Not not at this moment, but before. He was he was tearing it up. But I think Mbappe will move on to a bigger league. And then he's just going to tear it up anyway, just like Holland did. Because everybody said Holland went from Dortmund to Man City. And look at Holland. Look at Holland. I knew Holland was going to be good coming into the Prem. So. And he's not black. I'm just saying in general. So... Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of the a lot of really good talents are black. Pele, Ronaldinho, a lot of these guys are from Brazil, South America. They're all black. They're, a lot of these a lot of these talents are black, man. So you don't you know white people have their gems. Wayne Rooney, um, Zidane, um, uh, uh, Maradona. He would probably be considered white if you're looking off the skin, but. Man. It is what it is, man. Racism isn't going anywhere. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to touch on this. So that game is going to be tomorrow. Um, I hope he scores and dances on them because that would be hilarious. That would be absolutely hilarious. Um, you can expect in that game they're going to be fouling like crazy because that's what Atletico Madrid do. They're gonna they're probably going to double team him. 
I can almost guarantee it. So, yeah, that's been the video, guys. Let me know what you think of this Vinicius Jr. situation down below, and I'm out of here. Peace out. You guys have a good night.